October 9, 1835, the day he was born. Going to call you Camille, right Camille. He started music through the help of his aunt by teaching him piano lesson when he was two years old. but he thought it was a bit of a joke and he really didn't want it to perform in public when he was alive because it might ruin his reputation. I already made up my mind. I'm going so to he ban banned it. it. Nobody could perform it with the exception of one movement. He studied organ and composition at the Paris Conservatory. He became organist at the famed Church of the Mandolin in Paris in 1857, an association that lasted for 20 years. Liszt, whom he met about this time and whom he performed an enduring friendship, described him as the finest organist in the world. From 1861 to 1865, he was professor of piano at the Niedermer School where his pupils included Gabriel Faure and Andre Messager. The couple had two sons but died in infancy. Brand new life. It's different. He undertook extensive tours throughout Europe, the United States, South America, the Middle East, and East Asia, performing his five piano concerto and other keyboard works and conducting his symphonic compositions. As a pianist, he was admired by Richard Wagner for his brilliant technique. Come here, you have a brilliant technique. Thank you. Camille Saint Saints died without a warning of a heart attack. From roughly 1880 until the end of his life, his immense production covered all fields of dramatic and instrumental music. 